Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to copy files from on-premise file system into Blob. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. Let us first see the basic concept in this activity. Your on-premise server or file system, it will be under a virtual network. So usually Azure Data Factory won't have a access to that particular network. In order to establish this network bridge, we need to install self-hosted integration runtime. This is an installable software which you need to install in one of the virtual machine that is connected to your on-premise network. We have already installed the self-hosted integration runtime and also I have showed how to connect a on-premise SQL server. I'll be providing the URL in the video description. Please do watch because self-hosted runtime integration is the basic concept here. This is my personal laptop and this is going to be our on-premise file system. We are going to copy the files from this particular folder. We are going to copy the files from here to our blob. So for this purpose, I have created a storage account with the two containers. The input data is the container which we are going to use in this video. So this is going to be the input for my further processing. So I need to copy the files into the input data container and I have created a data factory as well. If you don't know how to create a storage account or Azure data factory, I'll be providing the URL for those videos in the description. Please do watch. Currently I am in manage options of Azure data factory. Now let us proceed to integration runtimes. And in our last video, we have installed this self-hosted integration runtime in my personal laptop. So this is the icon. So this is currently up and running. If you couldn't find this uh, after installation, just go to this tray and you will find it over here. Let's minimize this and proceed to create a linked service to our file system. So this is our first step. Just click on this linked service tab and click on new. Here search for file system. So this is the one just select and click on continue. Here provide a name to the file system link. So it's up to you. Provide a description if you want. Make sure you select self-hosted integration runtime. With that only we should be able to connect with our on-premise file system. So make sure you select it. And under host we need to provide the exact path which we need to connect with. If it is a server you will provide the server name followed by the directory. For our scenario we need to copy the files from a specific folder which is in F drive. So I am going to copy that particular folder. And let me paste it here under host. And we need to provide the username and password. Let's say for example if you are trying to access a file system from a virtual machine you need to provide the username and password for the particular virtual machine. For our scenario this is my personal laptop and I will be usually logging in with my Microsoft credentials. So I am providing my Microsoft. In case if you are doing similar kind of POC in your personal laptop you need to provide the credentials which you have set up in access work or school options under system settings. Now let us test out the connection. The connection is successful. Now just click on create. Now we will proceed to create a data set for this. Just click on the author icon. And here under data set just click and click on new data set and search for file system. Just select and click on continue. And here we need to select the format of the file which we are going to copy. I am going to copy this specific file which is in CSV format. So I am selecting CSV delimited text and click on continue. And here provide a name to the data set. And from the linked service drop down select the linked service which we have created now. Use the browse option to select the file or directory which you want. It is currently loading it will take some time for initial load. Yeah. So under this, I need to copy this specific file. So I'm selecting it and click on OK. And here in my file, the first row is going to be the header. Let me show what is a header. The column name of the file is what the header which I'm talking about. So the first row is our header. Hence, I'm going to specify the first row as header. 
and import the schema yes we want to import uh, the schema which means the column names as well so in case if you want to browse from a file you can browse from here but already our connection store is having that file so i'm just clicking on ok it will try to import the schema from the particular file directly i'm getting an error because the file is still opened in my uh, on-premise file system so i need to close it now if i click on ok there shouldn't be any problem yeah that's it the data set is created successfully and if you see the schema is imported so whatever the column name and what is the data type and just click on publish to make sure you are uh, saving everything now let us do similar kind of setup for our blob so first step is to create a linked service so here search for blob and select this one and click on continue here provide a name to the blob link and here select auto result and integration runtime because we are not connecting our own premise and here already i have explained all these types in separate video i'll be providing the url in the video description and here from the drop down select the subscription and the storage account as well and now directly click on test connection and click on create now the linked service created for blob now it's time to create a data set for data set also similarly follow the same step search for blob and click on continue here what is the output format going to be it is going to be in csv so i'm selecting it and here provide a name to the data set and from the drop down select the linked service which we have created so this is the one and in case if you want to select the particular uh, container name you can use this browse option just select input data container and click on ok in case if you want to provide the file name you can just provide it over here i have provided the file name with a dot csv extension as well and just select this first row as header so that header also will be copied for output you need not to provide the schema just select none because this is just a file so we can auto map just click on publish and now it's time to create the pipeline just click on new pipeline and in case if you want to provide a name to your pipeline you can do so from here and the pipeline is created just minimize and search for copy activity just drag and drop the copy activity and here in case if you want to uh, rename your copy activity you can do so from here and you have other option like timeout if the activity is running beyond this particular time it will fail so you can specify the timeout over here and you have options like retry and the retry interval so in case if it got fail so how many times do you want to retry in an interval of what now under source tab from the drop down select the on premise file data set which we have created so this is going to be our source and you can preview the data from here so if you have everything set up properly then you can preview the data from here yeah it is showing up this data so these are sample data you can close it and now file path type all these type of file path type we have already covered in our earlier video i'll be providing the url as well for this scenario we have provided the file path in the data set itself so just leave as it is now let us proceed to sync tab which is destination sync means destination just select this and select our destination which is our blob data set so select it and the copy behavior also we have covered i'll be providing the url as well and that's it you can just go to mapping and click on import schemas so this will import whatever the schema available in the source as well as the destination so destination we provided as none so it is just copying whatever available in the source in case if you want to change this mapping you can just change it from here 
or in case if you want to delete a particular column you can do so from here and that's it it's time to test our uh, logic just click on debug in order to run it and let us wait for completion in the meantime let me go to the particular container so this is the container we have selected currently it is empty now let us jump to our data factory and watch for the progress yeah it is completed let us jump back to our container and refresh see the file is copied successfully and if you want to just see the details just click on edit or you can download as well so I'm going to just click on edit so it will take some time yeah I'm able to see all the file content over here and that's it thank you for watching this video follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you bye bye